AJA Video Systems, proud supporter of Just Seen It, offers a wide range of professional acquisition and post-production solutions. Learn more at AJA.com slash PTV. Patrick is a gay man living in San Francisco. What's wrong with having a life outside of work? If I didn't want to have a life, I'd move to L.A. In the age of the Internet, he struggles to find a lasting relationship. Guided by his three closest friends, he navigates the dating scene in HBO's Looking. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm David. I'm Kevin, and we're here to talk about HBO's new show, Looking. We've all just seen it. Liz, what did you think? So we saw the first four episodes, and I have to say I wasn't really looking forward to it. As the show went on, I became attached to the characters, and when I stopped watching the first four episodes, I missed them. What was interesting is that the first four episodes, there's lots of talk about sex, but there's not a lot of showing sex. And when they do, it's, you know, the equivalent of Brokeback Mountain. It's not graphic. It's not like a lot of other Camera HBO cuts shows. away. Right. No, it was, it was tasteful. Well, it felt very vapid, the first episode, for me, and I was like, oh, I'm done with this. In what way? What do you mean, vapid? Oh, they all sounded like Paris Hilton. It was like, this oh. guy's hot, this guy's hot, oh, okay. and I was like, I don't care. I'm not, I don't care if that guy's hot or if you think that guy's hot. But as you go on, you're like, oh, they actually have real problems, and there's a real storyline right. here. And that first episode just gives you a glimpse of the style rather than the story. And then they get into it a lot deeper in, in the second episode, a lot more character development. Yeah. Now, I have a problem with the show. I actually have a bunch of problems with the show. And shocker. Shocker. Okay, now maybe... <laughs> I don't. I didn't have very high expectations for it, but the real issue that I have with the show is that it just it feels like an amalgam of other shows. It feels like Queer as Folk with some Sex in the City, and then even a little bit of Tales of the City. And, but what would, and what would you think it should be different? I mean, every cop show is like every other cop show. Right. But what I'm saying is that if in this postmodern era of television where we've just about seen everything that you could possibly see, if you're going to do something like that, at least make it an original voice. Don't make it feel like it's drawing from those three different shows that were all wonderful in their own way. Well, but there's so few shows that have been like focusing on gay culture with gay characters and that's the Agreed. small community. So it's like, well, of course they're going to be reminded of like the four other shows that right. they've had on American TV. And to bring up to that point is that they don't fall into the cliche, stereotypical storylines. No, they and, don't. And or gay stereotypes. There was no talk about Madonna and Cher. It, it just felt normal and natural. The, these are the people that I know. They're just guys that happen to be gay that just had the same problems as everybody else, whether it be dating, career. They didn't overdo it, which I, I appreciated because Queer as Folk was just constant stereotype, stereotypes. I couldn't even get through that show. I never cheated on Jason. He didn't have time. <laughs> so you think he's right? People usually cheat. Guys are guys. Guys are guys. Jonathan Groff plays the lead character of Patrick. And he's adorable. He's adorable, and that's the problem I have, is that he's and he's very good looking, and I know this is a very backhanded way of playing, of paying a compliment, but his character is very awkward in the show, and I have this sense that because he's a very good looking guy, that he never really had awkward moments in his life, so I feel like he's playing awkward, rather than being awkward in the show. I mean, I can see what you're saying. Okay, good. But, but I don't agree um, because, weirdly, and God, I, poor thing, but one of my first roommates, who was really good looking, he had that same weird, awkward, like, I don't realize that I'm hot, and I don't really know oh, how to please. live in this world. Oh, please. And, and so there was a point where I was like, You wow, want to just smack him, right? You do, but at the same time, I'm like, I know people like that, and I think I'm a little like that. I didn't care at all about these things that you guys are worried, that David is worried about. Mm. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't strike me. I thought Jonathan Groff was wonderful. I thought he was a nice introduction to the world. He is like the Carrie Bradshaw of yes, he is. the four people, right. if you have to compare it to something. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think he's good for audiences to be brought into the world because he does seem a little bit like a newbie. But yeah. I think that's good for an audience who isn't in the gay culture to kind of be brought along with him so they start to learn things and so they start to understand the world. Why do you even care? You dumped him. I know, I know we broke up for a reason, but, you know, things are complicated. And yes, Yeah, the he... reason was because he was boring. Yeah, exactly. I know that he was boring, but now he met Gabe, and four months later, they're getting married? How does that even happen? Was well, he hot? Is Gabe hot? Yeah. He's a little portly. <laughs> Andrew High, who does a lot of the directing and the writing on the show, did a movie called Weekend, which got a lot of critical acclaim. And it was the same sort of naturalistic, handheld camera, 
just felt like people were talking and having conversations and he's mm -hmm. filming it. And that's how the show is. And I think that actually benefited the show because it feels different. It very much feels like an HBO show in terms of the quality of the production design. The only little thing that bumped for me was the cinematography. There's a lot of scenes where the characters are in shadow or you can't see two eyes I like on that. them. I do too. I like but that. it's but it's not like they're hiding something. Right? No, but, but it's it natural. Be, yeah. It just seems like you're following somebody around with the camera. Yeah. Okay, but but sometimes I was just like, I can't quite read the emotions of the characters because I can't see their faces clearly. There would be like really bright windows behind them and they would be in shadow. It gives you a break. It gives you a break where you get to sit with the characters and sit with the storyline and just kind of be in the moment, whereas you're not being like force fed storylines and character points mm -hmm. constantly. Right. If you're looking for a fresh perspective on finding love and relationships, look no further than looking. See it. An unoriginal premise and a weak main character is lifted by a stellar cast and sharp writing. The show has promise, so I give it a stream it. I wasn't expecting to like this show, but I do think most audiences who give it a chance will enjoy it. See it. Well, our votes add up to two and a half tickets, which is a see it for looking. Cheers, Cheers. to finding love. Okay. Not that I'm good looking, I'm just saying that I get awkward.